Welcome back to another digital no-brainer, the series of videos on the quick and easy wins in digital marketing. This is my second video about MailChimp and GDPR, how to create a sign-up form that's compliant. The reason I have to make it again is MailChimp have released new guidelines and I'm going to get straight on with showing you how to do it. If you go over to the screen or on the MailChimp homepage, you'll see I have lists section, I click lists, and I've created a list already which is called GDPR compliant. Click the list. At that point, you see there's no data in here. I'm creating a vessel, a container, for people to sign up in a GDPR compliant way that I can then email for marketing purposes without um, penalty, risk, and so on. So it's empty. How we create a sign up form traditionally on MailChimp is with this very useful link, sign up forms. And I always use the form builder, which has a preset template. I'm going to select form builder. That will then bring me up some information. There will be a unique web link that I can give out to people. I can put that on social media, I can send it out in an email, um, I can send it out any way I want. And if people click it, they'll go to our form, which we're going to look at in a minute. I've then got a simple template of the form itself, which is here. And I can add a message, which I will, if I right click and put in a pre saved message about this is about GDPR, save and close, that will appear there. At the moment, I've got a default. GDPR compliant text. I could put a logo in if I want. I can make it look pretty, right? Then I've got some default fields. I've got email address, first name, last name, address, if I want to include it at the moment, it's hidden. And subscribe to list. Now I'm going to use the link and we're going to go and look at what that looks like, okay? So if I copy that link and I go over to a new window and I paste that in, our form will look like this editable form, okay? Basic list. Now, with the MailChimp guidance, not GDPR compliant because it doesn't say how the data is processed and so on and that you don't have options to opt out. All those things which are required, which were raised in my last video uh, by a viewer. If I come back to the list, you see I have a way of doing that very simply. If I go back to this section, settings, list name and defaults, and I scroll down, there's a very important box on here called Enable GDPR Fields. I want you to click that box and save the page, uh, which is down here. It will be when I get there. Save defaults. Now, if I go back to my form that I've created and I reload the page, I now have below this, my form, all the GDPR information that we require around how would you like to be communicated with, how can I change my information, and privacy policy for MailChimp, MailChimp is storing the data, terms and so on. GDPR ready sign up form. Thanks for watching. If you found this information useful, please do leave a thumbs up. That's very helpful to me. If you'd like to see more videos like this about other digital marketing topics and digital no-brainers, then please subscribe. I'll make these videos every week. Thank you.